The Wild Strubel, is a mountain of the Alps, straddling the border between the Swiss cantons of Bern and Valais. It forms a large glaciated massif, about 15 kilometers wide, extending between the Rall Pass and the Gemi Pass. Along with the Mouverins, the Diablerets and the Wildhorn, the Wild Strubel is one of the four distinct mountain massifs of the Bernese Alps that lie west of the Gemi Pass. The massif of the Wild Strubel is at the center between the valleys of Cemental, Inxilagental and the Rhone, the exact location of the tri-point being the summit of the Schneehorn. It comprises several distinct summits, including the Wettsteinhorn, the Rohrbeckstein, the Weisshorn, the Pointe de la Plaine Mort, Mont Bonvon, the Trubelstock and the Schneehorn. The main crest with the almost equally high summits of the Middle Gipfel and in the Gross Strubel forms an amphitheater oriented eastward which ends at the Steghorn and the Daubenhorn. This area encloses the Wild Strubel Glacier. To the southwest, the Wild Strubel overlooks the high plateau of the Plain Mort Glacier, which also includes an unnamed lake below the Schneehorn. The Gross Strubel and the Middle Gipfel from Inxlaginal the Wild Strubel from the Plain Mort Glacier The Wild Strubel lies approximately halfway between Lenk. Sierra and Adelboden, its summit being in the municipalities of Lenk and Lukurbad. The nearest settlement is the Aberried section of Lenk, at the head of the Cemental. Other notable towns and resorts around the Massif are Kranz Montana, Aminona, Lukurbad, and Inn. The highest place that can be reached without effort is the Point de la Plaine Mort Station, which is connected to Cran Montana and within 5 km from the summit. As for the other mountains on the crest of the Bernese Alps, the slopes of the Wild Strubel experience different types of climate depending on their location. The northern slopes are cooler and wetter while the southern slopes are drier and warmer. Forests are found up to 1,900 meters on the north side and to 2,100 meters on the south side. Glaciers also reach lower locations on the north side. Vineyards are also very common on the Valais side, especially below 1,000 meters, but completely absent on the Bernese side, where alpine pastures dominate the landscape, as in many other areas of the Bernese Oberland. Although not a technical climb, the ascent of the Wild Struble involves either long ascents or glacier crossings. The shortest access is from the Point de la Plaine Mort station, but before the 500 meter scramble to the top, nearly all the Plaine Mort glacier must be crossed. Another access is from the Gemi Pass, via the Lamron Hut, from where the ascent is made on the slopes of the much more crevassed Wild Struble Glacier. The only glacier free path is from Lake, but it is also the longest ascent as the end of the paved road lies at 1,105 meters, or 2,139 meters below the summit. The mountain has three summits, all of similar height and located on the cantonal border, although within the Rhine Basin. These three summits, strung out along a 3.5-kilometer ridge, make a convenient traverse. The third or fourth recorded ascent was by Leslie Stephen and Thomas W. Hinchliffe with guide Melchior Anderig on September 11, 1858. Thanks for watching.